Hello everyone, welcome back, it's Mike, and we are actually down in the train room. So as promised, we are going to get through uh, my top 74, we, it was 75, remember we ran the 2234 set, and uh, uh, the other post-war freight set on my Halloween layout. So now it's 74 passenger trains, and we and 74 freight trains. So we have two passenger trains on the tracks and one freight train. Um, these are Midwestern railroads and they are all steam because it is steam Sunday. So on the inside loop, we have the Chicago and Alton, Lionel Legacy, Pacific locomotive, and as I've explained before, these are the passenger cars from uh, the boxed set that came out prior with just TMCC and Odyssey. And I have the Station Sounds Diner and the four cars from the set. Um, I hadn't run these before, so you can see they still have the twisties on the trucks on the two car add-on set. And I didn't want to go through unboxing all of that. Um, in case you were wondering... Yes, it is uh, this set here. So I sold the engine that came with that set and I, I kept the box though and I have my legacy box in there with the passenger car boxes now. So that is set number one i told you i'd give you the model numbers of each thing and what they are as i'm running all of these in case there's something you're interested in finding um and they only made one of these in legacy the other one is 659 that's how you tell the difference and the legacy one has a better coal load um so the one with odyssey 659 the one with legacy 657 and this has whistle steam in it as well all right, so next, this is the New York Central Lines. Yes, New York Central Lines. This is the Motor Queen. So this is Hudson 6620. There were two okay, Motor Queens that ran that out of uh, Detroit. So they were twin trains. And they would have up to nine cars. I have six cars with mine. And they are like a brown and cream color. This is all MTH Premier. And this is a set. So it came with the locomotive and two cars. And then I actually found the two car add-on set that's made to go with the other five car set that they made. Um, I have not found the additional add-on cars that have the uh, letters on them. So what I'm talking about is you can see the locomotive is 2033241E. Well, one passenger car set is B, the other one is C. So it came with a loco and four cars. Then this is a set that doesn't have a letter in it. So typically that means it goes to the other set that was like the five car set that they didn't sell with the locomotive, um, but they usually put different road numbers on them. All right, so uh that is the motor queen and i want to play something because you see it's ccc and stl so cleveland cincinnati chicago uh in st louis now arriving from detroit on track one the motor queen So it has all the talking. I'll shut it off. All right. Then, next we have, so we're running a mix tonight. We have a Lionel Legacy. We have a MTH Premier. And then, this may very well be my number one locomotive in my collection. I tell you, I love them all. But this is a Northern, which happens to be probably my all-time favorite locomotive wheel configuration 
Um, this is a H1 Northern though. This is Chicago and Northwestern. The detail on this, this is a third rail brass. The detail on this is just phenomenal. Like, I, I rarely see anything other than third rails this detailed, and this is no exception. So look at all of the detailing, cab figures, cab lights, um, 3013 is the road number. These ran up until 1956. So I have some rebuilt um, 1955 Chicago and Northwestern boxcars with it. These were actually redone in this paint scheme. So we could run these with that engine. And this is a four car Lionel set. Um, three of them come in that pack there. And then the add-on car, number 751, is that one. So there's 752, 753, and 754. So there's those. Then I don't have the boxes out for these. Uh, these are Atlas, and these uh, are the Union Starch that ran in Illinois. Okay, that's then Chicago Northwestern MTH Premier Gondola with Junk Load. A C&W flat car with Chicago Express trailers for that era. Uh, that was in 740 of 1941. Then I added Minneapolis and St. Louis three car Atlas to it. Because um, Chicago Northwestern bought Minneapolis and St. Louis. And funny enough, that railroad never ran into St. Louis. So, I did put a Union Pacific caboose on the end because I do not have a Steam Era Chicago and Northwestern caboose. Um, so, I'm using a Union Pacific because they ultimately bought Chicago and Northwestern much later. Uh, but, uh, it is a, a Steam Era caboose. So, let's get some trains running here. It's going to be really loud. That's why I wanted to talk about them before I ran them. Let's we'll run this guy up to 25. Then let's get the Chicago and Alton running. Get a good clip. Let's go up to 75. Not speed steps. And then. Let's get... side of the basement. All right. Well, that's our Steam Sunday run. And uh, two more passenger sets out of the way. And one freight train. A lot of time to unbox all these. Good grief. 
well. I hope everyone enjoyed learning a little bit about those three sets. And, um, you know, maybe I hope to find something that you might be interested in or something that didn't really know was out there. So, hope everyone has a good night and I will see you next time.